Hello everyone and welcome back again for another video. And as promised, I'm going to go over some uh, Corsair hacks here. Uh, we're going to start the video out today by showing you what I got laid out here. I got a deep cool CF120 fan that's addressable RGB. Uh, this type of fan uses a uh, JST connector, which you can see right here. This is where it would plug into on an RGB. And then right next to that, we got a Corsair LL140 fan. And that, of course, plugs into the uh, Corsair RGB fan hub, which I have uh, plugged into in the back there. This is just another one that I've got. And then right next to that, we've got a uh, Fractal Design uh, RGB fan that uses the uh, three pin uh, five volt addressable stuff that you would normally see like on your motherboard. Uh, that's how this would plug into. Uh, so we've got three different kinds of uh, fans here using three different kinds of RGB connections. And right below that, um, you're gonna see this right here. This is a little uh, Leon Lee Strymer. You might have seen these. These go like on your uh, power supply cables and on your uh, GPU cables to uh, light them up. <coughs> and uh, those also take a uh, JST connection, connection, excuse me, which is the same type that the uh, deep cools take. So what we're going to do here now is I'm going to go up to this computer and I'm going to push the power button. And let's take a look at this as I power it on. Now, you know, as you can see, everything is, uh, when, it, when I started up, everything started up red. The Strymer has uh, got this little red marquee effect going, and the uh, other three fans in the back are doing a uh, marquee effect. Now, we'll let the computer uh, finish booting here, and we'll let the uh, Corsair IQ software kick in away from the uh, hardware profile and go to another profile on its own. Boom, rainbow. So as you can see, all three of the fans plus the Strymer is now in a rainbow pattern. Now, if I go to my screen here and we go and we double click on the uh, IQ icon and open up the uh, Corsair IQ software, <coughs> We can go to our Lighting Node Pro, and we can see on the channels how I have this configured down here. Now on channel one, uh, we'll go to the lighting setup here so you can see what it says. On channel one is where I have the uh, LL140 fan. And uh, like I said, that's on the RGB fan hub. I, I told it that one fan is connected. If I uh, wanted to add more fans, of course, I would change that setting and tell it how many fans are on there. Now on lighting channel two, I have it set as an RGB light strip. And I told it that six strips are connected. Uh, I could probably reduce that number down if I wanted to. I haven't uh, played with this too much yet uh, to get down the settings that I need because I don't know how it's going to be configured in the end. But for now, this is just the test demo. So you can see it is configured as a light strip. Now, lighting channel two is the channel that I'm using to control the uh, deep cool CF120 and the fractal design and the uh, Leon Lee things. And what I have on them, I don't know if we can see it. It's a little covered up here. Um, I have a little splitter. Here it is. It's a splitter. Uh, that's splitting off the signal. Now, what I'm using to convert this, and this is going to be actually the real star of the show here, not so much the Lighting Node Pro or the hacks that I'm going to show you, but the uh, we're going to give credit here to the person that makes the adapters to do these. And you're going to find him on eBay, and he is called Pirate Dog Tech. Uh, I'm going to link to his... Uh, eBay page down in the description, but what he sells is uh, various adapters to make what you're seeing with the RGB down here possible. Uh, 
I've got a couple of them down here that we could take a look at. For instance, this one here is a Corsair. This would go into the Lighting Node Pro. This is a Corsair to 3-pin RGB. See that? So what that does is it takes uh, the Corsair lighting and it converts it to a 3-pin. So if you have 3-pin header fans on your computer, you can use this. The next thing that I have is right over here. This is a Corsair to JST connector. JST, again, is the same type of connector that you'll see in Deepcool, Leon Lee, other brands like Fantex. They also use the JST connector. Uh, Pirate Dog Tech carries the uh, adapter for that. And, of course, they also carry the uh, splitter that I'm using up here so that I'm splitting off from one of the lighting links to two separate types. So what I what I split was one way I went with the three pin right over here, the other way I went with the JST. That way it's split two ways. And then of course in the middle we got the regular Corsair uh, <coughs> connection to make that run. And uh, that's it for that one. Uh, so this can kind of give you an idea of how to get your uh, RGB to synchronize uh, if maybe you don't like the motherboard software, maybe you want to go to the Corsair because you got some other Corsair stuff. Uh, it's really easy. You just go and you get the adapters and you do it. Now, I am going to cover... Uh, this is actually going to be uh, part one here of doing the Corsair stuff. Uh, this is just the hacks that I'm showing you. Now, uh, on the next part that I'm gonna, you're going to see me doing with Corsair stuff, it's going to be an upgrade uh, actually for my daughter's case. Now, uh, you've seen hers on here. If you watch the channel, hers is the Toadette Tower. It's, it's the pink case. Uh, we're going to pull out the RGB that she has in there, and I'm going to replace it all with Corsair stuff and put some Strymers in there. And, of course, she has that uh, GPU backplate on hers that uh, also is RGB controlled, and that is also going to interface with the uh, Corsair software. So what you're going to see on hers is basically uh, me syncing up all of her RGB on her uh, GPU backplate, on her uh, Strymers, on her fans, uh, everything. So uh, I will uh, instruct you how to uh, put the fans in properly for properly positioning them uh, to get that Pong effect to make sure that your uh, your uh, effects when they do their thing are synchronized too so they look good. And we're going to cover that next time. But uh, if uh, you're looking to put some uh, extra... Uh, RGB on your computer and you don't want to use the Corsair stuff or maybe you have some stuff and and uh, you don't like the other software, you don't like the interface, then uh, go out and find yourself a uh, Lighting Node Pro. Uh, you know, if, if you buy like the LL120s, of course, you get the Lighting Node Pro and, of course, the uh, fan RGB hub in the kit. And most people will buy more than three. You know, they come in three packs, so you'll probably end up like buying like two or three of the three packs. Well, you know, save those Lighting Node Pros because they come in handy. Uh, and if you're one of those that's got like six or more fans, you might want to invest in a Commander. Now, um, <laughs> the thing about the Commander, um, you don't have to use one. It's, it's nice for somebody that's got multiple uh, fans, like maybe you got like eight, nine fans in your computer. Uh, it's a good way to... Uh, alleviate all the uh, PWM connections that you would need off of a motherboard. And they really come in handy uh, for like an ITX board because on the Commander, you get um, two more USB hubs right down here. And since your Lighting Node Pro also plugs into a USB hub, you can actually, you know, you've got your two lighting uh, channels here on the Commander. And if you plug one more lighting node into it, you know, you got, you know, two more channels that you can use. Or if you've got a couple extra, because maybe you caught a, bought a couple packs of the uh, L120s or the L140s, then you've got a couple extra of these. So you've got like six channels of uh, lighting devices that you could do with up to six devices. So you're talking like 36 devices. Am I, count Am I doing my math right there? 
six times yeah six times six channels is 36 devices that you can do by using a commander and uh the lighting node pro and uh like i said you're not really limited on just using corsair products you know i'm showing you this right here these are just fans this is just an example uh, there's other things like you know led strips and things like that now another question you might have is uh well can i do this with my 12 volt rgb too and absolutely you can do this believe it or not you can synchronize your 12 volt rgb on here but there's a little more involvement to it uh, it takes a special box and uh, Pirate Dog Tech actually sells that too. Uh, here's what it looks like on the screen. And again, I'm going to link to uh, his uh, eBay store so you can take a look at it for yourself. And he actually has a video up out there. Uh, if you're looking at this listing, if you scroll down uh, right here, if you, uh, oops, you know, I might even just link to his video. You know, copy, paste, and go. But yeah, he's got a video on YouTube where he will talk about doing that. And I tell you what, I'm going to link to this guy's stuff because it's pretty cool stuff. And you got to give this guy a hand for doing this for people. But his video is going to be right up there if you want to see it. And uh, check that out if you're interested in doing like 12-volt RGB in addition to the uh, synchronizing the uh, Corsair along with all this other stuff. I mean, yeah, you can absolutely synchronize every damn bit of RGB that you got on your computer uh, into Corsair. It's uh, not too hard to do, really. So that's going to be it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next video when we'll continue off with some Corsair stuff. Um, I might have a video or two coming out before I get to that one. Uh, so I will see you guys later, and uh, hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. You can hunt me down here or over on uh, Reddit or, uh, of course, on the uh, builds.gg page. And uh, I'll help you out uh, if you need it. So I'll talk to you later, guys, and bye.